Thank you for choosing our video. In today's video, we will be making the bobble bracelet. This is an adaptation of the four pin fishtail bracelet. We will need six red, six orange, six yellow, six green, six blue, six purple, 48 white, and one C clip. Place the loom into a grid pattern by moving the center row of pegs. So it lines up with the outside two rows. Position the loom so that the arrow is pointing to the right. And we'll use these four pegs here. Place a red elastic across all four pegs. Now place a C-clip onto all strands of the elastic. You could use your loom tool to help you with this. Once we have the clip attached, push the elastic down onto the pegs, as far down as it'll go, and place another red elastic onto all four pegs. Now loop the bottom elastics over the top elastics on all four pegs. We'll push down what we have so far, and place a third red elastic. And as before, loop all bottom elastics over the top elastics on all four pegs. Now we'll start working on the bobble. Place two white elastics onto the pegs. And as before, loop the bottom red elastics over the white elastics. And make sure you loop over both sets of elastics that are on the peg so far. Push it down. And now we want to place four white elastics onto the pegs. Pull the bottom two white elastics over the top four elastics on all four pegs. Push it down on low onto the pegs and place two more white elastics onto the pegs. Now loop the bottom four elastics over the upper two white elastics on all four pegs. This one is the trickiest because there's quite a few elastics that you have to pull over. And we want to repeat the same process for the rest of the elastics that we have. So we put on colored elastics, one at a time, until we have six of the colored elastics on. Then we want to put two white elastics on, followed by four white elastics and two white elastics, and each time we want to loop all of those elastics in one shot. 
and the colored elastics we're putting in on the pattern will be in the order of red, which we've already done, then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then we'll end up with the uh, red again. We started off with three red elastics at the beginning of the pattern and we'll end up with three elastics at the end of the pattern. As we're looping, it's going to get a little bit tight between the pegs, so at some point we have to pull the pattern through, either by pushing through with your finger or pulling at the bottom with your loop loom tool. Once we finish placing the last red elastic, we want to come with the other end of the pattern where the C-clip is located and gather all the elastics that are currently on the pattern to one side of the C-clip. So basically we're making room on the other side of the C-clip to grab the elastics that we're going to be pr uh, feeding it right away. So here we have them all gathered to one side. So using your loom tool, gather all the elastics from the pegs. Feed your loom tool from the top to the bottom through the elastics and gather them off of the pegs until you have all four elastics onto the loom tool. Okay, now we want to place the elastics that are on the loom tool onto the C-clip. And once the C-clip is firmly attached on all elastics, we can safely remove the loom tool. And we have our finished bracelet, the bobble bracelet. Thank you for watching our video. Additional videos can be seen at www.rainbowloompatterns.com.